Welcome back to our project. In this video, we're going to try to move from where we just have basically text on a white background. We'll decorate it up a little bit, see if we can get it to look more like this with some images on each of the pages. And in order to do that, we need to change several things related to this top area of the page. The first thing we need to do is to get these light and dark buttons moved over to the upper right hand corner. And in our style sheet, we can simply find where the theme color settings are. And all we have to do is change it from top zero, left zero, and we'll just make that right zero. Control S to save that. And that pops those buttons from the left side over to the right side where they're out of the way. Now we're going to go back into Constitution. We're going to change these buttons from just being plain undecorated buttons and we're going to replace them with images. And what we're going to do is replace them with SVG, which stands for Scalable Vector Graphics. SVG. And there's a great website where, as a designer, you can find images like this. It's this called Material Design Icons. And what we'll do is come in and just search for an image like the sun. And there's one right down here that looks good. We'll click it. I'm just going to hover over that and grab the SVG itself. This is the code, the SVG code. Control A to select all of that. Control C to copy it. I'm gonna come in now to the constitution file right here at the top. And what I will do here is I will leave the button itself intact, but I'm simply gonna take out the word light. So the image of the sun is going to replace the text for the word light. I can just delete that. And in that same place, I will control V to paste in all of that SVG code that I grabbed from the website and paste it in here. So let's do the same thing now for the dark button. Close this and go to search and I'll type moon and we can get a moon icon this one over here is sort of in a similar design to the sun that we just had. So I'll click it, right click, view SVG, control A to select it all, control C to copy, come back over here, select the word dark. And just to show you that you don't have to delete what you have selected, you can just select it and then control V to paste and it pastes right on top of what you had selected. Now control S to save. And go back to our constitution page. And now you can see that we have those images of the sun and the moon over in the upper right hand corner. So if I click on the moon, does the JavaScript code still work? It sure does. All we did was to replace the word light with an image. Now I want to grab one more button from this material design icons. I want to search for an arrow. I want to find a thick arrow that points up. And there is one right here. Thick arrow pointing up. Right click, copy the SVG. Now what I want to do is to put that arrow. It's going to replace what we have in our page right now in the lower right hand corner, the top of page link. And we place that up close to the nav section. And all we have to do is simply replace the words top of page that occur between the opening anchor tag and the closing anchor tag. Control S to save. And now you see that at the bottom of the page, we have that up arrow. And now what we need to do is to simply put this SVG in the same locations in the other two HTML files. Okay, with that done, 
We'll check our pages, Constitution. Everything is in place with the up arrow at the bottom of the page. Declaration. Everything's working. Amendments. Here we have a bit of a problem. You can see in the upper right hand corner that the amendments navigation list is too close to the buttons at the top. What I want to do is to just move the amendments list down just a little bit. So we'll come into the styles. We will find the amendments and here it is. And rather than 10 pixels from the top, let's make it 25 pixels from the top. That should be enough. Control S to save. Yeah, that moves it down and everything looks a lot better. The next thing we need to do is to get our pages ready for us to use the float property in our CSS so that we can move images around on the screen. All I need to do is to come into the CSS file and come to line one where I find the opening body tag, press enter a couple of times, come back up to the top, and we're going to use the universal selector which is the asterisk, and that means to select everything on the page. We're going to give this a rule, box, sizing, order, box. Once we get that set, we need to make just a couple of other changes. I want to come into each of our pages, and jump to the bottom. We're going to create a footer at the bottom. So just above the closing body tag, we'll type footer, press enter. And here we'll type a P element and just type in here something like, thanks for your interest in our country's founding documents. Control S to save that. Control C, copy, declaration, go to the bottom, paste that in right above the closing body tag. Control S to save, go to amendments. Go to the bottom, paste it in, control S to save that. Now I need to come into the styles and we're going to create a rule for the footer. The footer is going to have settings, margin top of one EM. We need to align the text that's inside and on that top border, we're gonna create a two pixel solid black border. And that way we'll just have a line that goes all the way across the page that separates all the content from the footer itself. Control S to save that. And now in each of our files, footer at the bottom of the page. A couple of other things we still need to do. We are going to come down to the area that separates all of the navigation stuff above and separate that from all of the content that's down inside of the page. So we'll select the line just before where you find we the people of the United States. We're going to type an opening main tag there. We need to take that closing main tag out, jump to the bottom of the page, and then just above the footer, we'll paste in that closing main tag. Control S to save. We're going to do the same thing in the declaration file. We'll come down to the paragraph that begins with the unanimous declaration of the 13 United States. Type in the main element, cut that closing main element out, go to the bottom of the page, come up to just above the footer, paste that in there, control S. In, the, in amendments, we're going to come right before the first article tag. Type in our main element, control X, jump down to the bottom, right above the footer, we'll paste in that closing main, control S. Now, so far, nothing changes on our pages. We haven't really changed anything other than add a couple of elements. But what we do need to do now is to prepare this area that we've now defined as main and get it ready because what we're going to do after this is we're going to change all of this header area and we're going to make it take the full width of the page, but we want all of our content area to still have this width of 80% and being centered on the page. So we'll come into styles, and we're going to take out of the body element the two lines that say width 80%, margin auto, control X to cut those out, 
and we're going to come right down below the body tag and type in a main and paste those control s to save and now you can see that all of our content is still having the equal margins on each side taking only 80 percent of the width of the page but now if you look at the buttons up in the navigation area you can see that those are now moving over to the far left and far right edges of the screen the last thing we need to do is to create the area on the screen where that we will actually put those images that we'll have at the top of each page. Some people refer to these as banners. Some people refer to them as heroes. We're going to select everything from this first line where it says class of theme color all the way down to just above that opening main element. Stop just before you get to the opening main. Then use Control Shift A. And what we're going to type is a div element, and it's going to have an ID of hero. And press enter, back up to the top, and you can see that the ID hero that we've created. But in here, along with that ID of hero, we now need to add a class, and it's going to be constitution hero image. So just pay attention to what we're doing here. We have a div tag and in it we have an ID of hero. And then there's a space separating this ID from this class that we've just created called constitution hero image. Control S to save that from the declaration. And here we're gonna do the same thing. We're gonna select everything from theme color down to where the opening main tag begins. Control Shift A. Div is an ID of hero. Press enter. Here we're going to type class equals declaration hero image and save. And in the amendments file, it's a little bit different because here we don't really have a top navigation area that's like the other two pages because we have all of these amendments that are still in the nav section. So what we'll do here is we'll come into the body tag and right after where it says ID top of page, we'll simply create a class equals amendments dash hero dash image. And all we lack being done with this is to put our images on the tops of these pages. I'm going to show you how we can actually put images into our pages by simply using CSS. We'll come down below the main section and we're going to start with the Constitution Hero Image. We're going to set the background to make it an image. We'll do that by using a URL value. We'll start with quotation marks and then go to the Images folder and look for an image. And it's the one called US Capital Westside Cropped Opacity 60. On the end of that, we want to put no repeat, center, top. Now, the size of this background needs to be cover. Now, let's put in a couple more. This one will be declaration, background. The image here is going to be the one called Assembly Room Independence Hall, Philadelphia, Opacity 60. We'll have the same criteria at the end, no repeat, center, top. Background size is also going to be cover. And the last one, this image will be the United States House of Representatives. Be careful with the background size on this one because it's not cover, it's contain. So when we save this, we'll see our picture of the Capitol building at the top of the screen. And depending on what size our browser window is, you'll see more or less of that image. And on the Declaration of Independence, we see our background image. And then Amendments, we see the U.S. House of Representatives image. So now we have images in the hero areas on each of the three pages.